Israel's National Air Drone Initiative has taken a significant step forward by conducting the very first air taxi test in Israel this past week. The initiative is a partnership between government agencies led by the Ministry of Transportation, the Israel Innovation Authority, Ayalon Highways LTD, and the Civil Aviation Authority of Israel. As such, for the first time, test flights of EV toll autonomous electric aircraft were conducted in a managed urban airspace, carrying heavy cargo loads with the future possibility to fly people for long distances. Additionally, air flew the Air Zero manufactured here in Israel, which can accommodate up to two passengers for a distance of up to 160 kilometers. While Dronery, a subsidiary of Kando Drones, took off for the first time at the Palyam landing pad in Kesalia with Ehang's innovative aircraft, which can carry two passengers and fly a distance within 30 kilometers in a fully autonomous flight with no pilot on board using Ehang's intelligent command and control system. Dole Bean, CEO of the Israel Innovation Authority, said that Israel is one of the global leaders in this field and said that the experiments are an important milestone in the National Drone Initiative, which has gained international acclaim. He added that the significance of these demonstrations lies in creating a regulatory sandbox that allows all relevant stakeholders to have practical experience before establishing a regulatory infrastructure that enables a wider economically viable model. The ability of Israeli startup companies in the drone industry to experiment within this sandbox provides them with a competitive advantage in the global market. Indeed, the initiative is focused on preparing Israeli airspace for drone flights with the intention of alleviating traffic congestion on Israel's roads, providing commercial and public services more efficiently, and creating a global competitive advantage for Israeli high-tech companies. The initiative has been operating since 2019 with over 60 million shekels being invested in the next two years when test flights will be conducted on a large number of aircrafts which will be able to transport people and goods in the very near future.